Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin! We are going to the Forest of Hope in this episode and we are... Well, we'll see how it goes. But, this is a new area and uh, I really really like the music of this place. Oh, and then I hope the music would start. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, nice little calm music there, so that's some really nice things. And what the hell is going on with the onion? Something happening. Uh, My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone in the strange planet makes it somewhat uneasy, so I should call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. Yeah, okay. We need. We know how to do that. So we take out all about 25 Pikmin, and we are going to collect some more before we do anything else. Uh, I'm going to throw that, and you can... Take care of that. Just take it back to the onion, will you? And then we got a little yellow pellet over here. Well, yellow pellet? I thought they were only red pellets. No, they actually are yellow pellets too. Oh, that was it, actually. No more pellets. So let's send these Pikmin start working on this wall, and they're gonna knock that down. The more Pikmin are on it, the faster it. Oh, the the, the short, short, short time that we'll use. Really. That's how it works. So we're going to plug these, and we're going to send them, and they're going to help knocking down this wall. Hey, hey, how about that? Hey, go work, go get to work. He like, walks a after me when he's supposed to work on that wall over here. So as you see, there are three steps. Uh, we were already a third of the way there. And uh, on the other side, we encounter our first enemies. Those are bullwarbs. And uh, they are like ladybugs, so it tells a little bit about how the size of Oldemar actually is. It's really, really small, and Pikmin, the Pikmin are even smaller. Like, um, if you were to set a foot here, it would probably be like, your, your shoe would probably be the size uh, of this. The pattern I'm walking in right, right now. That, that would probably be your shoe, if you were to uh, step foot. No, maybe bigger, maybe like, yeah, even bigger. Y you, you can... You can just imagine that this is a ladybug, and oh shit, you're not gonna- No, you did not just do that, he did not eat him, I managed to kill him before he did. Ooh, that was actually kinda close, and hello, another one of you over here. If I can manage to land one perfectly on top of him and crush him, like that. That's the best way to kill these those guys, um, but yeah, we're gonna just uh, throw another one up here, he, that one requires three to be, to be, um, to be, well, <laughs> taken back to the ship. And what's up with you not picking them up after you knock them down? You're supposed to pick him up. Yeah, that's more like it. Hey, what happened to you guys? <laughs> Some of you just like just quit your job or something. And uh No! You stupid, 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 you missed him. And boom. I think he did not yeah, he died. Okay, that was our first death. Oh well. We'll get a lot of deaths. That's probably not the only one we'll get this time around. Uh yeah, carry them back to the ship, and oh, holy crap, that one is kind of huge. We do not want to mess with that just yet. Uh, I guess I would kind of, I kind of want to collect a lot of other, collect, collect as many as we can, really. We only got two left with us, though, so I'll probably just take these two, and that's it. So, those pellets, and then we'll be returning back to our spaceship to pick up the ones that are uh, being, the ones that have been carried back. And also, a blue pellet. What? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a given that we will encounter other types of Pikmin. You've probably seen them. The blue and the yellow ones, yeah. There's nothing to spoil, it's it's obvious. Wow, we got a lot of Pikmin here to pluck. And we're about to collect our uh, second treasure, or second ship part, I should say. Uh, I didn't point it out. It was... It was... Um, we went by it. We were just right next to it. Actually, actually, we could have, could have just approached it and pre pressed A or something. Wow, there's no end to these guys. They just keep coming. Now we got like 58, no 57. Yeah, because uh, the I have to keep blocking them. Wow, I think that's it. I th don't think we'll need any more than that. Oh well, you'll just keep blocking. Okay, that's uh, great. I guess. I guess we can pluck these up later. No. How do we do that now? Because they are ready to be plucked, so that's something we should do, which is we just pluck them. Is that it? Yeah, no. Let's pluck the rest. 
because we can. I don't think we need any more Pikmin now. We have enough. We have enough Pikmin to do whatever we have to do. That's it. 60. That's enough. Wait, 60? We don't have one. Yeah, we can press Y to check map. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's right. We can't really check our map yet because we don't have the ship part for that. Um, oh, well. That means we can't really check where the Pikmin that I don't have is. He's lost somewhere. What should we do? Now, the best way to get these guys is they are always asleep. So the best way to do it is attack them from behind. And uh, pretty much surprise butt sucks. Just, uh, that did not work out so well. Oh, yeah, it did. It did. He didn't eat any of my Pikmin. That was great. Hey, some of you, some of you can carry that by. Ah, uh, not that many. We need, we need. Ugh, I didn't mean to call all of them, but oh well. Here's the ship part I was talking about. Why is it turned a fruit animal? It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have any to regret saving this visit anymore. Hey, this will make my fights for survival might be easier. So let's take that back. It needs 40. So we did have to do a lot of Pikmin grinding, actually. Uh, I don't really think we need to take that back, honestly. We have enough Pikmin as, as it is, but these 17 we have left can start working on this wall, and as you see, there are more bull bars behind there. I think that's, it's called, like, a huge bull bar or something. I'm not really sure. Hey, where did that Pikmin go that was on this thing? Where did it go? Did it start working on that wall? I guess I did call it. I, <laughs> I thought I didn't call it. Uh, I thought I just left it on there. Well, you guys are taking too much time. Now it's like nothing to do. I guess we can go kill, go in the water and kill some, um, go, go and kill some tadpoles. Hello. I'm gonna kill you guys. Because Olimar can actually kill, <laughs> kill enemies. But they are much faster than him, unfortunately. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna kill this one. Ah, ah. We have nothing else to do, so why not do this? We can't really carry them back though, back, though if we do kill them, because... Uh, I, I haven't really shown that yet, because this is the first encounter with water. But if we try to, to take our Pikmin in the water, they will start drowning. Uh, at least the Pikmin we have now, so we don't have the types of Pikmin to get into water yet. What kinds of Pikmin can get into water? Obviously blue. No spoiling. It's obvious, okay. <laughs> no spoiling the obvious, okay. Uh, we just delivered our ship part. Uh, no more candles for you. You have now recovered two out of thirty. Three more. You each should be able to increase the ship's capabilities. So when we get three more ship parts, we should be able to go to a new area. And um, so I believe five areas in this game. Four major ones. No, three major ones, and then two small ones. The, the one of the small ones is the first one we uh, went to the impact site or something like that, I think it's called. And you guys have actually gotten pretty far, you 17 guys over here. How about you get some more help from um, from these <laughs> remaining 40? Huh? How about that? Yeah. Oh, it's almost done. So, uh, we have th uh, 30 days to collect all 30 ship parts. If we do not uh, get enough ship parts by uh, the end of the 30th day, we will actually get a game over. So, uh, the game does give you a time limit. Like, you do have time on you, and you can't fail everything by not making it, but uh, 30 days, uh, make, uh, getting 30 ship parts in 30 days, no problem, uh, actually. No problem whatsoever. As long as you get one ship part uh, every day. You're good, and you'll get uh, even more than that. Like probably, like you'll have probably an average of like two ship parts, one one or two ship parts every day, if you're playing for the first time. But what do we have here? That is like a yellow type of onion, <laughs> yellow type of red onion. Oh, <laughs> our Pikmin just disappeared in that cutscene. How convenient. Well, uh, let's just knock this down. Do not pick it up though, because um, the difference between the yellow pellets and the red pellets is that. Uh, a yellow pellet like this one. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to that later. This is a yellow Pikmin, and it's got huge ears. That's it. That's the difference. Color. No, <laughs> the color is different, of course. But it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one is, has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from other Pikmin? No matter. They're obviously quite similar, so I should call this a Pikmin as well. So yeah, they are lighter, and they can be thrown. Uh, they can be thrown long, uh, further, and higher. So some some ship parts are actually located like 
at, 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 at top of the ledge that only the yellow Pikmin can reach. And uh, the yellow Pikmin can also carry bombs, we'll get back to that later. Bombs, yes, we can bomb down those uh, walls right there. This, that wall right over there. Well, I kind of got on my way there. My clock has indicated that the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and day display. At the bottom of my spacesuit damage meter and Pikmin gauges. From the left, these numbers affect Pikmin under my command. Pikmin in the field and in total Pikmin. Yeah, I already went over that in the last episode. To adjust my monitor, I can press it L to rotate the camera. And fourth wall breaking, we don't care about because I know how to play the game. Let's get this uh, yellow Pikmin right here, and let's pluck the ones that have grown, and get uh, that pellet right there. So, we do have uh, a time limit for th this day. We did not have that the first day, that's the only day that will not have a time limit. Uh, but the second day, and uh, all the way to the 30th day, will have time limits. Oh, how the hell did you get up there? Yeah, see, you can throw them way, way up there, and they didn't even actually know you could get them up there. And they just found some nectar, which uh, makes them grow into flowers. Another interesting discovery, a local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this del de delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This is a Pikmin family seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strength and the peculiarities of this flower pick. So, um, as, as I was saying earlier, these yellow pellets, they are different from the, from the red ones, because if you bring uh, one yellow pellet into the yellow onion, they will produce two yellow Pikmin. If you bring a red pellet into the yellow onion, onion, it will only produce one yellow Pikmin. So, if if the pellets matches matches the color of the onion you bring it into, you will get um, you will get more uh, Pikmin from it. And see how high I throw those up. You don't need all five of those. I didn't mean to get all of you off that one. And you don't need two to carry that one. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's three, and now these two can get these two. And of course, I completely missed those. Yeah. Just, uh... Here, get that. Knock that down, pick that up, and carry it to the onion. I did not command you to... Ugh, oh, these guys are so stupid sometimes. Like, I, I was going to carry that one. Okay, so... More, uh, I guess, uh, Pikmin. I can't believe I actually left those up there. But they have grown into flowers, so that's nice, I guess. So now we can actually almost uh, get the the um, this one. We need ten yellow picking for that. Or I guess I can borrow a few red ones that can carry it, carry it for them. Uh, I guess I can. But um, right now we're just collecting yellow Pikmin. And uh, the difference that the yellow, the red Pikmin are from the yellow ones are that they uh, uh, we haven't encountered fire yet, but we will soon. Sooner or later we will encounter fire. And uh, fire will kill every Pikmin that is not red, and also red are much stronger fighters. So if you want to bring uh, a few Pikmin to take care of uh, taking out some bosses, maybe... Oh, there are bosses in this game? Yeah. <laughs> the red Pikmins are your best bet, because they are the stronger fighters. So now we have a ton of Pikmin. A ton of uh, yellow Pikmin. Uh, they can, they, I can get, I can send ten on that one. I don't know how many I sent. Probably more than ten. No, ten exactly. Okay. So I'm gonna pick up these bombs right here. And uh, or I'm not gonna pick them up. Those are gonna pick them up. And suddenly all of the others disappear, and only one is left on the screen. Yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the Yellow Pikmin. But just what are those strange darling stones? Uh, right the glowing cracks are then perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked in down within. This might spread the research. <laughs> these stones are known as bombs, pretty much. And, uh, just get all, all of them to pick up those, and, uh, these are, I don't know if I should bomb that yet. Maybe I should just leave it be because we can't really do anything behind that wall. So, uh, I'm gonna bomb this wall over here instead. And, uh, three bombs should take care of this wall. That's one, and uh, I guess I can throw the two ones at the same time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you can. We, I, I can dismiss them. I have. I didn't really go over that, but I can press X to um, dismiss them. And oh oh, 
Oh, I thought <laughs> I thought they were going to be suicide bombers. So um, I can dismiss them whenever I want to, and then we'll, then they will split into different, uh, I guess, types of. Uh, I don't know. They, they will split at least, so I can uh, choose them as I want to. Just uh, that that's how I can tell the difference between them, or how I can choose to only have red Pikmin with me. I can just do this, and then they will split into two groups. Three groups if you have uh, uh, bombs on those uh, yellow ones. So the ones that have bombs, they will split uh, each. So they will split into their own group. And right here we have enemies. We haven't had those in a while, <laughs> actually. Let's see. I hate these enemies. Uh, those little bugs right there. And I suddenly lose a lot of Pikmin because suddenly... Enemies are everywhere, so I should kill that blue orb and then here we go. I only lost one actually. Now let's get get this ship part over here. This, uh, yeah, they can. Anyone can grab that one. If I use a C stick, if I hold a C stick forward, I can throw them much faster. That's nice, you know. And uh, maybe I should just have the yellow pigment take these back to the yellow onion because um, I think that's a good idea. Because then I can get some more yellow Pikmin, because I don't really have enough yellow Pikmin, do I? No, I don't. So let's gather some more while they are carrying back the ship part. And um, here we can witness something. I'm just gonna throw these at that. As you see, more Pikmin can carry that one. Oh, I didn't actually check it out. Uh, it's now it's gonna be with this, I'll be able to see all neighbor ship parts in a single glance. I just been required to check it. This finds. Uh, this find fills me with great hope. So now that we have that, we can actually check our map and find all shape parts on the map. And as you see, uh, the Pikmin that stand here and don't really do anything, they if if some ship part uh, that has um, that has room for more to carry passes by them, they will just join in and uh, carry the ship with the ones that are already carrying it. So that's nice to know. And uh oh. I want to take out that one, that, uh, the brown one, those white ones can't really hurt me, so that's always uh, nice to know, they can't hurt me, just, uh, uh oh, here's one of the brown one, see, they bite me, see, no, they bite my pigment, like, what a bunch of dicks. Uh, I am at a yet new dis uh, Pikmin really discovery. I don't really need to read this because uh, all it says is that when you reach 100 Pikmin, they will keep spawning inside of the onion. That's uh, what is happening right now because I get more Pikmin that I have um, room for because I can only have, only have 100 Pikmin at the at, at once. So uh, oh, I, I didn't really carry it back yet. But the day is almost over. I can just leave these guys here because I don't really care about those. Uh, once we carry about back the ship part, which was, which will happen in a bit. Uh, no, why did you stop carrying that? I want to have the yellow ones carry that one. No, where are you going? You are not going to the red onion. You are going to the yellow onion. There we go. Now you're going to the yellow onion. So now we delivered the the radar thing, ship part. Yeah, they will always interrupt. Always interrupt, telling me, oh, you delivered the ship part. Whimsical radar. This is what we want to detect the locations of the artificial parts. Radar will be added to my monitor, which I can press Y to view. Zooms in and out. Th yeah, three ship parts and two more. There is my ship's capabilities. Press Y to open our map, and we can check the whole map of the Forest of Hope. The stars indicate the ship parts. Uh, two up there, and then we have um, then we have these uh, this one over here that we can actually grab right now. How about we try do that? Um, yeah, how about we try to do that? I don't know if you're gonna have enough time because, as you see, the day is almost over. Uh, where, the, where are the ones with the rocks go? Yeah, here we are. Uh, the ones with the rocks. I should have done this earlier because I wasn't actually aware of this. That the the rock, this rock over here. Uh, uh oh, enemies. Well, they can't really hurt me, so doesn't matter. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I'm not gonna have enough time for this. I guess I can just blow this uh, away then. Uh, my clock is indicated for the frozen sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own. But if I don't call the stranglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I am somewhat concerned about the Pikmin, uh, to, about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. So, as long as they are planted in the earth, uh, there is no, really no, uh, you are, you are, you are just fine. Like, it's not, nothing's gonna happen to the ones that are, uh, 
just sprouted, like planted, like this yellow one over, this yellow ones over here. But I'm just gonna pluck these guys, and then I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna end the day ma just manually because there's no, nothing else we can do really. We have got enough Pikmin now. We've got 123 in total. That means 23 inside of that onion. Maybe uh, we got some red Pikmin too. Now I just wanna check if that I have all my Pikmin and don't leave any behind. Uh, little colored dots, they indicate the Pikmin. I think I've got all of them, actually. I just need to make it back to the onion. And also, if you leave Pikmin next to the onion, they will just just uh, walk into the onion by themselves. So, there's no... Like, if, if, if you leave the Pikmin behind, like, by the onions, they will just find themselves uh, back to the onions. They're not gonna just... Uh, get killed and just left behind. Now we are all 100, we can just uh, go to sunset. We don't really need to wait for the counter to go down. Go to sunset, yes! So if we left something, someone behind, they w we would just uh, leave some... Like, if we didn't have them with us... If there were... Um, other places. And th he just sent the yellow Pikmin back to the yellow onion. That was like... Um... We're pretty far away from here. Are you sure? But uh, sure, that's a good idea. <laughs> I guess he is. Wow, this is actually coming out to be a pretty long episode. I'm sorry, but that's how it's going to be in this let's play. Um, one day is going to be one video, obviously, and one day usually takes more than 20 minutes. So I guess that's how it's going to be. But oh well. Two days since then, it's appear that many of my ship's ports have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. And I only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yeah. Yet, there seems to be many hostile life forms out there. If I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of them, and press A to make suit repairs. So Ulmer can also take damage. He has a damage meter and you can go back to the ship to repair that. So as you see there, the graph of the yellow Pikmin and... Um... Well, we've actually got um, we got 60 red and 63 yellows. Not 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 bad, actually. We lost three in battle. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm not going for a perfect run and three. That's acceptable. But in the next episode, we are actually going back to the Force of Hope again because we aren't done here yet. And uh, we're going to g get the remaining ship parts we need in this that we can get for now. So until then, thank you for watching and have. A good day uh, or two. How many days will be between the episodes? See you guys then.